Let's find the sine and the cosine of 45 degree angles. I believe we're perhaps repeating ourselves and that we've seen this material before, but I'm sure I never gave any argument. So let's look for the sine and the cosine of 45 degree angles in terms of this um, unit circle. So we've got a 45 degree angle. This is the unit circle, the hypotenuse is one. Here's our uh, 45 degree angle. Here's the cosine of 45 degrees. Here's the sine of 45 degrees. And the key observation here from geometry is that if this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 90, this angle is also 45 degrees. And this side and this side are the same. So we can write that the cosine of 45 degrees equals the sine of 45 degrees. And then we can say well, the cosine squared plus the sine squared equals one. That's the Pythagorean identity. The cosine and the sine are the same. So the sine squared is the cosine squared. So rewriting this a little, two times the cosine of 45 degrees squared equals one. The cosine of 45 degrees squared equals one half and the cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of one half. This has two solutions, the positive square root or the negative square root. But the cosine is this x coordinate. This is so here, zero, zero, this x coordinate is positive. So the cosine is the positive square root. And this is one over the square root of two. And traditionally that's rewritten as the square root of two divided by two. And now we've found the cosine, but we've also made the observation that the sine and the cosine are the same. So the cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of two over two and the sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2 and 45 degrees is pi over 4 radians. So we can repeat this 
using radians instead of degrees. And even though the square root of 2 over 2 is not a nice number and maybe not the easiest thing to commit to memory, this is something that you are supposed to know. It will, in particular, assuming you're taking this to go on to calculus, which probably a lot of you are, your calculus professors are probably going to assume that you've got this memorized.